Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a video about where to find like, where I shop for books and where to find good prices for books and all that sort of stuff. Some of these may seem obvious to you guys but some of them maybe not so much so let's just get into the video. And I die if you want to destroy my sweater oh, 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 this bed as I want. First up, I have Indigo, which is basically the Canadian version of Barnes & Noble, if you do not know. Um, I love Indigo, Indigo chapters, the whole thing. Kohl's, they're all just basically the same thing. Um, I really enjoy this store. It's where I buy a lot of my books from. I think online versus in-store is a lot cheaper. So definitely, if like you only spend $25 to get free shipping if you're in Canada. So Next, I have Barnes & Noble, which I've been to once. Um, I really liked it for the special collector's editions that I can't get in Canada. I also got my like my Harry Potter Hogwarts house box set there as well, and I know a lot of people love to shop there. I don't know online if it's any cheaper, but yeah. Next, surprisingly, Walmart, okay? For new releases, usually their books are 25% off, so you can find some little goodies there, and if you're like grocery shopping, you can always go peek at the books, which is what I do all the time. <laughs> Next is Shopper Drug Mart, which might be surprising, again, Canadian. Um, they have a section of books, but they also have like a bargain bin, so they always have some little um, finds in there. I found a few goodies and a few hidden gems in that bargain bin that were for a really good price. This is Book Depository, which I do have an affiliate link it's down below. I usually don't plug my affiliate link, but I am today. <laughs> um, basically, this site is great. International shipping, free shipping. The prices are really, really inexpensive. Um, the only calm with this one is sometimes it takes a while to get to, to get to you depending on where you're from. Like for me in Canada, it can take up to a week and a half to two months. So it kind of depends, but I do really like this site for special editions, especially UK copies of books that I want. Next is Amazon, which I actually don't order that many books from Amazon, but I know there's only certain books you can get off Amazon, like certain poetry collections or a lot of self-published authors only sell through Amazon, so that's an option as well. And last but not least, I have Book Outlet, and if you have not heard of it, basically it's the best thing ever. They have a warehouse in Canada, but they also have the online site, which excellent prices, and I think it's seven Five dollars, fifty, fifty dollars, or seventy-five, and you get free shipping. Um, I think it's U.S. and Canada free shipping. I don't know about internationally, but the prices are really, really good. I definitely suggest checking it out. And of course, I'll have all these sites linked in the description below. So a few that I wanted to mention that I have not personally tried but have heard really good things about is One Abe Books. Um, I know it's linked through Book Depository, so I know some people have really liked that site. I haven't personally ordered from there, so I don't really know. But apparently, it's also a good site. And next is Thrift Books. Again, haven't ordered from there yet, but I hope to and see how kind of it is. I don't know. See, for thrift shopping for books though, I like to see it in person because like they may say like the quality is like, like it's okay, like the condition's okay, but like what does that even mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like what's that interpretation of okay? I don't know. That's my only kind of thing with the site and what I'm nervous about, but apparently a lot of people love ordering from there as well, so link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're new here, be sure to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be updated for when I post new videos and all that sort of stuff. I'll see you all very soon with a new video. Bye!